The Penrise Progress app is a web-based portal, so it can be accessed through your laptop or PC, on a tablet or iPad, or via your smartphone. There is a link from the school website under the Progress app section on the main page of the website and within the Parent section. Depending on the type of device you access the Progress app through, the appearance may differ from this demonstration, but the functionality will remain the same. Once you have accessed the login page, you will be asked to enter a username and password. This allows a secure individual login to be used to access your child's progress information. At present these details are set up as your child's school login and password. This is exactly the same as they would use to log into the computers at school. Once you have logged in you will be taken to the dashboard. As you can see there is a huge range of data available to view from this dashboard which can help inform you as to how well your child is progressing at Penrice Academy. To navigate through the Progress app you can use the menu bar on the left hand side of the screen or click the options from the main dashboard. If you choose to view the Progress app through an iPad or smartphone, you may need to use the button in the top right hand corner of the screen to view the menu bar. To minimise this, simply press the icon again. From the dashboard, you can view a broad range of pieces of information about your child's progress at Penrise. Firstly, we have information about attendance. To view some guidance about attendance, simply press the Information tab in the top right hand corner of the screen. This will display some guidance for you. To hide this, simply press the tab again. If you wish to view some more detailed information about your child's attendance, you can select the Attendance tab from the menu bar on the left hand side of the screen. Once you've opened the Attendance tab, you can see the absences that your child has had this academic year, and the reasons that have been provided for them. To return to the Dashboard, simply press the Dashboard button on the menu bar. Next on the Dashboard, we have a section about Achievement and Behaviour which allows you to see how many achievement merits and behaviour points your child has accumulated this academic year. By clicking the Information tab, you can view some guidance about achievement merits and behaviour points. Again, minimise this by clicking the icon. To view some more detailed information about the achievements and behaviour points your child has picked up, simply click the View Achievement Details tab or the View Behaviour Details tab. Once you've opened the Achievements tab, you can see the merits that your child has collected this academic year, which teachers have awarded them, and a short description about what those merits are for. To return to the Dashboard, simply press the Dashboard button from the menu bar. The next section on the Dashboard gives you some information about the amount of effort your child is putting in in all of their different subjects. To view some more detailed information about effort, simply press the Effort tab from the menu bar. The Effort Grading section gives you an indication of how your child is engaging in their different subjects. The descriptions below the graph explain the differences in the grading criteria and are helpful in giving you a better understanding of how well your child is engaging in their subjects, how much effort they are putting in in lessons and if they are completing homework. This is useful information when looking at overall progress as high engagement will often result in really good or exceptional progress. At any time you can return to the dashboard by pressing the dashboard icon from the menu bar. Scrolling down on the progress app we'll be able to find the next section which is about progress. The progress summary section gives you a range of information relating to your child's academic progress against the grading criteria for specific subjects. As you can see the individual subjects are listed on the left hand side as well as the current grade and the on track to get grade. The current grade is where your child is at at this point in time in each of their subjects. It's calculated using data from tests and assessments, controlled assessments and coursework, as well as classwork and homework. The current grade is calculated using the grading criteria for each particular subject or qualification. The on track for grade is an indication of what your child will achieve at the end of year 11 based on their current progress in each subject area and their teacher's professional judgement. By clicking the Information tab, you are able to view some guidance on what each of these columns mean in more detail. To minimise this, simply press the Information tab again. The second part of the Progress Summary section shows where your child is presently achieving in relation to 3, 4 and 5 levels of progress targets. These targets are based on their APS, Average Point Score from Primary School, which is calculated from the Key Stage 2 tests they took in Year 6. 
For each subject area, the red whiskers on the diagram indicate where your child should be to meet their three levels of progress target at this point in time. The green whiskers indicate where they should be to meet their five levels of progress target at this point in time. The blue diamond on the diagram represents the current grade that your child is working at. You can view the progress that your child is making in an individual subject area by clicking on the diamond for that particular subject. Let's have a look at textiles. Once you've selected a subject to view, you'll be shown the flight path for that particular subject area. The flight path indicates how well your child is performing throughout their time at Penrice. The black dots indicate their current grade at points throughout each of the years they spend at Penrice. If their current grades lie within the bottom band, that would indicate they are on track to make three levels of progress. Three levels of progress is the minimum expected progress your child should make by the end of year 11, and it's based on their key stage 2 results. If your child's grades lie within the middle band, that indicates they're on track to make four levels of progress. If your child is on track to make four levels of progress, that means your child is making good or better than expected progress during their time at Penrice. If your child's current grades lie within the five levels of progress band, the top one, that indicates that your child is on track to make outstanding progress by the end of year 11. For the vast majority of students at Penrice, if the current grade lies below the three levels of progress line, then they are not yet making expected progress. A child working below three levels of progress will be receiving a number of interventions in order to support their learning and raise achievement. If their current grade lies above the five levels of progress line, then they are on track to make exceptional progress. These flight paths give you an indication of your child's final grade in Year 11 based on their present progress. As you can see from this student's progress in textiles, their current grades lie within the four levels of progress brand. This would put them on track to get a B in their GCSE textiles exams. To return to the dashboard, simply press the dashboard icon. The progress summary and effort sections of the app are updated during data collection points throughout the year. You will receive communication from the school via text or email when these data updates occur. The final section of the dashboard displays your child's current reading age. This is tested at various points throughout the year. Pressing the information tab will give you some more details about what your child's reading age means. Again, you can minimise this by pressing the information tab again. From the menu bar on the app, you are also able to view your child's timetable by pressing the timetable button. Opening this view will display two timetables, firstly the timetable for week A and below the timetable for week B. To return to the dashboard, simply press the dashboard button. The final option from the menu bar is a contact page. Please feel free to contact Penrise to discuss any aspect of your child's progress. You can also find out more information about what's going on at Penrice via Facebook or Twitter. Finally, don't forget to log out at the end of your session. We hope you find this new Progress app a really useful tool to give you a clear understanding of how your child is getting on. We intend to develop this app further and would welcome any feedback that you have, so please don't hesitate at all to contact Penrice Academy with any suggestions you have. We hope you've enjoyed this tutorial video. Thank you for watching.